Pilots from the 33rd Fighter Wing at Eglin Air Force Base supported fifth generation and legacy aircraft integration for exercise checkered flag. Lieutenant Colonel Brad Bayshore, commander of the 58th Fighter Squadron, says the importance of this exercise lies not only in utilizing recent upgrades to the aircraft's lethality and efficiency, but also provides a unique training opportunity for the developmental aircraft's pilots. F-35 is uh, the newest fifth gen fighter that we're adding to the fleet. Uh, we're currently in uh, SDD, which means we're in a testing phase of the aircraft. Uh, but at the same time, for our squadron, we're also a formal training unit, teaching students every day. So uh, we just got a new uh, software tape not too long ago. This gives us an opportunity to kind of stretch the legs out for that software, see what it's capable of, uh, and of course, increase the uh, capability of all of our tacticians in the squadron to just get better. Have a safe and fun flight, and I'll hopefully see you next week. Thanks, brother. That's what I'm talking about. This is a great opportunity for us to work fourth gen, fifth gen integration uh, on a larger scale to simulate combat operations. Excellent opportunity for us to learn specifically from the Raptors and integrate with those guys and then capitalize on the fourth gen and fifth gen integration, uh, integration piece of it. So learning a lot from the Raptors uh, and we really appreciate both ACC and Tyndall allowing us to come down here and train uh, supporting this exercise. This is a huge benefit for all of us uh, to get better uh, and improve our tactics writ large for the F-35 Enterprise. The two-week exercise was a look at the modern battle space and total force integration. Airman First Class Roswell Sartwell, Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida.